Good evening, you're watching Breaking Views. I'm Nidhi Razdan. Our big focus tonight is the Mahasena vs Sena battle that's taken another series of twists today. The Election Commission this evening has allotted new names to both factions and given the torch symbol to Uddhav's uh, Shiv Sena, while the Shinde faction has been asked to submit three fresh choices for its party symbol. Now, this is a temporary move by the Election Commission because there is an Assembly bipole coming up in Mumbai next month. So, uh, after that, it's going to go back to looking at the final issue of who gets what name and what symbol, and that's a process that could take some months. Uddhav Thakre, meanwhile, today also challenged the Election Commission order that froze the Shiv Sena name and symbol. Now, interestingly, the Shinde faction of the Shiv Sena is not contesting this bipole. It is only the Uddhav faction versus the BJP. The Sena mouthpiece Samna has called the Election Commission's decision the sin of Delhi. Today, uh, as I said, both the factions submitting their new names and symbols, which were finally allotted this evening. Well, joining us exclusively now on NDTV tonight is Shiv Sena leader Aditya Thakre. Aditya Thakre, thanks very much for being with us. Uh, straight off, uh, very, very strong words I see used by uh, the Shiv Sena leadership about the Election Commission's decision, uh, calling it the sin of Delhi. Uh, are you questioning uh, the decision of the EC? Are you saying it was made at the behest of the BJP? Uh, the point really being that, you know, whatever is going on right now in Maharashtra, uh, the question really lies upon whether our processes are democratic anymore. Do we stick to the constitution anymore? Because if you see for four months, for about four months today, uh, we have a government whose constitutionality has been challenged. Uh, we have a government that is highly unconstitutional. And if this is legitimized, you'll have many more such factions claiming larger parties made for national parties or regional parties going further in the country. I think that will lead to a huge level of instability in our country. Uh, and that is really the core question today, that whether a group of Gaddars can be legitimized in such a fashion. The question though here, uh, Aditya Thakre, what's, what many experts are saying is that the Election Commission has done the right thing simply because there is a dispute that is at the heart of this and this is not just another factional war. Mr. Shinde is now the Chief Minister of Maharashtra and therefore the EC was right to freeze the symbol and the name for now until this gets sorted out. What would you say to that? Well, I think the first question really is, is he the real Chief Minister of Maharashtra? I think that is first to be answered. Two, uh, there's a question on the you know, uh, defection of all of these people and we've applied for disqualification. The, the hearing is going on. Uh, three, they're not even fighting this election. The real question again herein is, more than anything else, the crux lies at these 40 people have sold their souls and they're wanting to finish us off and finish off the Shiv Sena. And that is really the intention that they're going ahead with. But in doing so, they're also trying to finish off our nation's democracy and the, you know, the people who are following the constitution of India. But at the moment, legally, Mr. Shinde is the chief minister of Maharashtra. Are you saying that you find the EC's decision it, unfair because they're not actually contesting this upcoming bipole? More than, I mean, again, you know, I would obviously go beyond just the EC because there is men, there's a lot that's going on behind what is going on in front of our eyes today. Uh, what is going on is the 40 Gaddars have applied for, you know, uh, the same name for a party that has been existing for more than 56 years now, uh, for a party that has been founded on the principles of supporting Bhumiputras and largely if you see across the country, everybody knows that the party has given plenipotentiary powers to the president of the party. Now this legislative faction that broke away should have ideally resigned, hopped over and then contested elections. But what has happened is it's going on in terms of just as an illegal government and they're trying to challenge and take away everything. They're trying to steal the name, trying to steal the symbol. I think it takes a group of 40 to steal everything and that's famous in all our uh, stories from what we've heard since childhood. Well, uh, Aditya Thakri, the question though is, you know, uh, which is the real Shiv Sena? Both sides are now really having a, a, a maha battle for uh, Balasab Thakri's legacy. Uh, they say they are so the real only, there's Sena. Only one, there's only one Shiv Sena, yeah. uh, which is standing firmly behind uh, Uddhav sir. The other is a group of 40 Gaddars who've sold their souls uh, in their quest and hunger for monstrous ambitions and that's what they're going on with and they are only puppets, uh, nothing beyond that. 
how are you convincing uh, your supporters and others about this on the ground though i know you've been campaigning a lot ever since the government uh, fell in maharashtra ever since your government fell but what exactly are you selling to them because the other side says look you guys diluted hindutva by by aligning with the ncp and the congress you diluted your hindutva agenda therefore we are with the bjp we stand for true hindutva to begin with how do you answer that charge i think we are not someone to sell or buy anything the ones who sold something are the ones who have crossed over and have sold their souls and the principles and their ethics uh, but really if you see what happened on uh, the sera rally day of course we had it at shivaji park chhatrapati shivaji park which is been happening historically but if you look at some of the visuals that the media has taken from various people who went to the other rally in bkc uh, you had uh, people who don't even know what was happening at that ground in bkc uh being taken to the ground for allegedly sums of different sums of money uh some people were going there for the food some people said we're going for a mela some people were uh basically non political labor from different states put on to bus and brought there i also heard to an extent that the non permanent workers in mantra lab were asked to visit the bkc grounds and if you see the ground you also have visuals coming from the media itself that when this illegal chief minister was speaking at uh the ground was half empty you had the education minister uh, sitting on stage and passing out dozing off uh, when the chief minister the legal chief minister is speaking so i think everyone knows in maharashtra what has happened we live in an age of information we live in an age of social media and media and whatever was conspired and what whatever happened everybody has seen nobody has really liked the way that the 40 gaddars have defected and uh, you know tried to finish up the shiv sena finally in the last two and a half years mr uddhav thakre was a chief minister who was taking everyone together as is hindutva that is inclusive um yes we as Uh, the family we as a party visited ayodhya three or four times even after becoming chief minister we had a couple of mlas from our allies beat the congress or the ncp coming along with us we also uh, you know funded a lot of temples in terms of uh, tourism spirituality uh, through tourism through different funds that could be available through maharashtra so our hindutva really is of course supporting hindutva but our hindutva also ensured that everyone moved ahead in peace and prosperity and as a brotherhood so i think that is very very important for us can, can you explain how uh, but, 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 but sorry aditya thakre how how is uh, that messaging though going out to those who say that you've diluted the hindutva cause you're saying you're for hindutva but the, it's the ones who are and that it's inclusive it. it's kind of an oxymoron in a way in today's times so not really i mean not really not at all i mean as a government um, yes we changed the names of aurangabad and usmanabad uh, aurangabad of course from uh, the mughal ruler who was you know really a despot Uh, to sambhaji nagar we changed the uh, usmanabad to dharashiv but without riots and all the people there all the communities welcomed me um me personally as minister for tourism and as a garden minister for mumbai i have went to tirupati we requested the tirupati temple trust to come to navi mumbai set up a temple there in 10 acres and uh, having said that it is this new government that has given it a state we uh, demanded a ram mandir in ayodhya in 2018 and that's where you saw even the court proceedings moving forward we celebrated the decision no way did any clash of ideology happen even though we were with congress and ncp because we know how to work in a democratic fashion and take various ideologies together and work for the people yes uh, probably when the governor of maharashtra had written a letter to the chief minister of opening up temples and spiritual places and asked him whether he had you know turned secular suddenly that's the only time uh, the chief minister said we will not open up any institution till the medical go ahead is given by the doctors during covid waves we our first religion our first religious duty is to protect lives and that's what we've done in covid times without seeing any background caste creed color of anyone in our state i think that is the way we've gone ahead and everyone knows the work that we've uh, done in the state is there space though for this kind of so called progressive hindutva as as your picture it is it is it is largely accepted across maharashtra if you see uh, wherever i'm going and touring people are coming out and showering the love and blessings but i guess um, the 40 people who've gone there do not know what hindutva is they do not know what uh, you know congress ncp or mahavikas agadi because for two and a half years they enjoyed all the perks and benefits of being a part of the alliance i think when there were some pressures on them i don't know what um, i don't know what people are saying out there or some monstrous uh, ambitions that's when they hopped over and uh, they become puppets now how do you think bala saab thakre would be looking at this uh, reinvented uh, shiv sena that you're projecting today and that your father has projected uh, because his politics was very strident and some would say much more hardcore in terms of its hindutva approach but the sort of more progressive line that you've taken whether it's on environmental issues and other things which seem to have irked hardliners in your party 
how do you think he would have seen this you know i think he was a very very practical honest person uh he was relevant to every decade every year that he was a part of you know uh, leadership and politics and everything that we are doing today would have been acceptable because finally as uh you know uh, ideology we're taking off with what my great grandfather prabodhan kartakre started my grandfather of course my father and i are you know involving ourselves in the same service and same ideology we're taking it ahead logically um in terms of hard line soft line we've always believed that uh you know there are times where you have to take a hard line there are times where you have to be you know relevant to your times and when you make a statue of course while making a statue you need a hammer and chisel once the statue is made if you use a hammer and chisel again it's only foolish of you for you the next job for the next person is to take care of that statue uh, to take care of idol idol and uh, do puja of it not use hammer and chisel all the time so what about the future of your shiv sena within the mva the mva alliance itself what is 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 it solidly together are you solidly together with the ncp and the congress as moment? of today if you've seen uh, the congress and the ncp have stood by us in testing times in tough times um most importantly you know we were always warned by uh, people not not everyone but some people who you know claim to be political experts that we would face a danger from these allies in fact it's sort of amusing uh, that the two allies have stuck on despite our political and different ideological bases and we've worked for maharashtra whereas 40 people uh, for their monstrous ambitions our own people who we trusted and who we gave everything to have uh, betrayed us what have the last few months been like for you and and your father udhav thakre the former chief minister aditya uh, the last time you and i spoke was actually in the midst of that crisis when the government yeah. uh, fell uh, what what have the last couple of months been like i think back then also i told you that the only way forward is onward and upward and that's what we've been focusing on we've been only going out to the people uh, meeting the people what we realize is apart from the 40 gaddars um, on ground the base is intact everyone's intact everyone's seen what went through um they could have gone in a democratic fashion they could have gone in a better fashion but the way that they lying in broad daylight i think is really embarrassing for us as a state that we are looking at such politics today um the yuva sena the mahila agadi the shiv sena everything is in its place and more so even the non political person today is uh, really not like liking what's going on in our state but what have you been doing in the last few months you've been seeing us we've been only meeting the people uh, yes two and a half years we were working for the people through government now outside government we've been raising pertinent issues uh, issues such as the vedanta foxcon deal that was let away by our own government here as in the gaddar government not our own government but the legal government you've had a bulk truck park that's gone away you've got a couple of investments that have gone away uh, largely we're looking at governance and politics being mixed up and messed up today so we've been only countering that and trying to reach out to the people and only prove to be an alternative um, another thing is if really this 40 the group of 40 had enough strength on ground and enough confidence in themselves they would have resigned and faced elections as of today how do you answer those who say that this is the end of the road for the thakre family not the shiv sena uh, and not bala saab's legacy but for uddhav thakre aditya thakre and that in a sense uh, the bjp is out to finish that that thakre shiv sena uh, how how do you respond to them and the fact that eknat shinde at the moment does seem to have the numbers on his side he does that's why he's the chief minister i i have only one response to that you know back then too i said i said the same thing and today i can tell you i told you so because they're only after a family and a chief minister and a leader a former chief minister and a leader who took everyone together and was a progressive voice in india and today anyone who's an inclusive and a progressive voice is trying to be stamped out and i think that is what we are facing today the larger danger is not just to the thakre family the larger danger is just not to a 32 year old like me who's trying to voice the youth uh, the larger danger is not to only the shiv sena party it it lies and it it's surrounding our democracy and our country's constitutional ideals all right so you're saying it's a much bigger fight clearly that's a fight uh, that uh, you uh, and udhav thakre are taking uh, right to the finish aditya thakre thanks very much for joining us on ndtv today thank you thank you Well joining us now Asif Bhamla spokesperson of the Maharashtra BJP we have Priyanka Chaturvedi member of parliament uh, from the Shiv Sena and Dr S Y Qureshi a uh, former chief election commissioner also joining us today uh, uh, Mr Qureshi I wanted to ask you first uh, on the election commission's decision on freezing the symbol and the party name uh, was that the right thing to do given that there are these competing factions but also 
it is for a by election in which one faction isn't even contesting uh, how do you see the election commission's uh, decision election commission has done what the uh, the only thing it could do in fact i wrote an article about a week or 10 days ago in indian express if you read that at uh, that point the situation had not arisen so i had uh, described the procedure which election commission follows and which is exactly what i have done that if there is a contest uh, which has happened in this case there is the, the existing symbol till uh, normally the if there was no by election election commission would have taken a couple of months to decide who is the real party in other words the majority party which is uh, considered as the real party but in between if the by election comes as happened in this case uh, now uh, the uh, the existing symbol is always frozen the name of the party is always frozen and the two factions are given a temporary name like the party a and party b and symbol a and symbol b uh, which is exactly what they have done there is a contest and in the contest the symbol has to be frozen and that is what they have done how will which way it will go we really don't know because they will now be going by their principle of majority the majority on one hand and the, the legislature mp mla and mlc and on the other in the organization interesting situation will be when a majority is proven uh, in the context of one uh, for uh, one party one faction and uh, in the organizational another faction gets the majority then it will be a, a little difficult task for election commission to weigh uh, what is the gear for them and then it will be interesting to see how they decide right uh, asif bhamla the the primary charge that aditya thakre is making is that this is not about him or his father uh, or about the future of the shiv sena this is about uh, democratic institutions processes and democracy itself how would you answer that charge by him well this is uh, the uh, to, to go a little in the flashback this has been an outcome of the unnatural alliance you see the backstabbing that happened uh, against the the mandate is the outcome of that and and why do you blame us in the span of two and a half years when you were in power your mlas your ministers your mp mps uh, have complained that they were not accessible to the chief minister they were not getting sufficient funds uh, the funds were diverted by the concerned ncp minister and the congress ministers and all this happened and tell me one thing i this is the first ever time we are seeing that people from a ruling establishment are leaving their own ministership they are leaving their own mla ship they are leaving the parliamentarian uh, ship and going uh, and rather uh, adopting a tougher and a rougher way wherein they themselves are not aware whether their mem membership will be able to be sustained there or no so certainly you can imagine the level of of problems they must have undergone with this and natural allies too and which is why balas up always have said that if at all i have to align with the congress i would rather shut stop so this is some issue which is within their party which has to be addressed and i don't understand why the bjp has to be uh, you know has to always uh, you know be dragged into that and uh, you see because well, it's it's been an innocent bystander in this entire political drama uh, at least you made me smile mr bhala but i but, but, no need to one yeah. second i give it 10 second yeah. you see i would i would say just one thing it is the lust of the power for the chair of the chief ministership for which you compromise on a 30 year old association which maybe had it not been there the situation would have not arisen okay. because okay. So, we all so let me take that to priyanka chaturvedi priyanka chaturvedi the bjp then seems to be saying that the real gaddars are the thakre shiv sena that stabbed them in the back uh, but also more importantly what you know what mr ashwai kureshi was saying is that the election commission did the right thing under these <laughs> sort of conflicting claims uh -huh. on who the sena is Actually, actually, Doctor Espy Kureishi ji, with all due respect to him, I was on a discussion with him yesterday as well. Uh, what uh, we are not discussing about is a by-election where there was no conflict as far as the symbol is concerned because uh, the uh, Peter Gang is not putting up a candidate. What was the hurry of the election commission to take up their, uh, you know, this discussion or to uh, freeze the symbol when there is no uh, counterclaim to uh, any candidate? 
so uh, you know every time this discussion happens of course if there is a by election and if the two rival factions are putting up someone then you definitely have a reason to step in and say and show this uh, hari this concern and by hearing both sides but you have no candidate coming from their side yet you take this on a priority yet you decide to uh, freeze the symbol i'm sorry uh, this this rush cannot be explained as much as anybody might want to uh, want to explain this secondly i j- just like to want to correct uh, mr um, asif bhamla ji asif bhamla ji uh, this is a very convenient argument to make that the uh, bjp was backstabbed bjp knew how to live by its commitments and its people alliance promises you wouldn't have a long standing ally leave your side and we are not the only long standing ally to leave your side shiromani akali dal has also been forced to the same your ambitions have become so uh, big and they have grown at the expense of your alliances and by and by by, by passing constitutional norms and enforcement directorate uh, using all central agencies uh, in your in your control to try and control this narrative and the last answer to this question where he said oh you must uh, introspect as to why those from the rural, ruling dispensation have to leave and uh, undertake this entire uh, process of being disqualified as well so let me remind him maybe he's not uh, he's not aware of the fact that whether it's the enforcement directorate whether it's the cbi whether it is the it they're focused only on opposition and trying to sub- get them to into submission into whatever agenda that bjp seeks, seems to have let me, and last but not the least okay. not to forget the panas poke uh, 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 lord that they had let me get a quick last comment for from dr kureshi then uh, dr kureshi how long could this play out uh, potentially uh, i mean are we looking yeah. at a final decision on this for months weeks normally it takes about 3 uh, to 5 months wow and uh, also the i have an equal respect for priyanka ji the in fact probably i respect her more than she respects me um the, you know the the fact is that they, this uh, matter got disputed and uh, whether there somebody is putting up a candidate or not that's not material a dispute has gone to the election commission and election commission are now uh, if election commission doesn't act like a court a uh, normal court where the date is given for 3 months 6 months and 1 year election uh, and that also probably judiciary doesn't because they have hundreds of cases before them this is the only case they before election commission and election commission normally gives 24 hours 48 hours so that it can decide the case as quickly as possible and in fact election commission the effort would have been suppose there was uh, no by election or uh, currently now election commission would uh, effort would have been to decide the case by the december so that uh, before january when uh, we have the major elections uh, coming the decision would have been taken so election uh, decision in a hurry it should also not be questioned it's not fair all right all right have to leave it there for the moment thanks very much to all of you for joining us we'll be following every twist and turn in this dramatic political story but uh, i feel the pain already dr kureshi says it could take up to 5 months uh, to resolve this once and for all the sooner the better uh, i say thanks for joining us